Hello everyone. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine. Uh, so today I am going to make sardine sabji. You can also call it uh, Indian style sardine. So here we have the ingredients: tomato, onion, uh, green chilli, ginger, and garlic, minced. And this is curry leaves. And this is the sardine I have. This is canned sardine. So it generally has a little soft bone inside it. So it is full of nutrition. If you like, you can remove. If not, then you can let it be. So these are the ingredients that we require. So let's start. So I have put ghee in the pan, and I have also put curry leaves. After it splatters a little bit, we'll add onion. I'll just stir it a little bit. So now, when you see onion is little transparent, you can add garlic. I add a lot of garlic. which really enhances the taste now i'm adding ginger it enhances the taste and also takes you know it remove any kind of smell that uh, the non veg has um you know chicken and fish or anything that you make some people really cannot uh, stand the flavor so it's good for that you can add green chili now so when you see onion is turned to this color it's kind of pink you can add tomato so i do not uh, like to add a lot of tomatoes uh, so i have just taken two tomatoes and maybe three to four onions so it depends completely on you how you like it now i'm adding dry spices this recipe is very simple i'm not going to add too many masalas too many dry spices but still it tastes really great if you make it this way the fish itself has a lot of flavor and it adds to the gravy so now i'm just going to smash it a little bit so that it all comes together like this so now i'm just going to close it and cook it for some time after cooking for some time you can see the oil oozes out of the gravy so that's when you know uh, it's all cooked it's well cooked and it's now time to add our fish to the gravy before that i'll just add a little bit of water so that the gravy does not get burned i'm going to mix So now I'll just make space for the fish. I'm just going to keep the fish first, and on the top I'm going to put the masala. This is how I uh, I do it. So I'm going to keep the fish underneath, and over it I'm going to keep the masala so that the fish gets cooked and masala does not get burned. and now i'm just going to let it cook for some time after 3 to 4 minutes you'll see the sabji is all ready to serve you can see the oil oozing out of the gravy so our sardine sabji is ready to serve I hope you like the recipe if you do please like the video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you for watching see you in next one